In this video, we're gonna talk about what the heck is a baritone ukulele. Now I get a lot of emails from people saying they bought a ukulele, well, they bought a baritone ukulele and will it work with my courses? I seem to be playing it with videos online and it doesn't seem to match up. Okay? So let's talk about the differences between the baritone ukulele and then this is a tenor ukulele. So the biggest difference is the tuning. That's, that's the biggest problem most people face is that the tuning of the baritone is different than the tuning of the tenor, the concert, and the soprano ukulele. So um, I guess, yeah, let me just play a little bit of something and then uh, we'll talk about the body difference sizes between these two instruments. So the tuning of the baritone here is first string is E, remember these notes, E, B, that's the second string, third string G, and fourth string D. Okay, so now also watch the chord shapes as I, as I play this. Actually, we'll do this, here we go. All right, so remember these chords. So on this baritone, due to this tuning, you got a G chord, C chord, and a D chord, or one of the chords I played was D7. All right, so now the tenor. We got first string here is A, not E like the baritone, A, E, not B, E. <laughs> Third string is C, on the baritone it's a G, and then on the fourth string here is, on this instrument, a G, and this is a high G, and the baritone has a D there. Okay, so now I'm gonna play those same chord shapes. Actually, before I do that, so remember, that's 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 a tuning of a fourth. So right, if the baritone, think about this, is from the, the highest string, meaning the string closest to the ground, is E, B, G, and D, and this tenor here is A, E, C, and G. Notice that's the fourth. So on the baritone, you have an E note as your first string. Here you have an A that's up a fourth, and that's just alphabetically. So think of E, F, G, A. That's four alphabetical notes up. The second string here on the, well, the, remember the baritone is a B. Here on the tenor, it's a E. So B, C, D, E, just four up. The third string on the baritone is G. Here it's a C. So that's G, A, B, C, a fourth up. And then the fourth string on the baritone, remember, is D, and here it's a G, so that's D, E, F, G, so that's a fourth up. So that's what it means by the baritone is, or the tenor is a fourth up from the uh, tenor, or the baritone. All right, so now, let me go ahead and play. Remember the chords we played here? We played these chord shapes, okay? I'm gonna play the same thing here, now you can hear the difference, here we go. So notice overall that this tenor, it sounds higher, right? It sounds higher, not only because of the high G and the different tuning, but also the body size. So let's talk about that, the body size between the baritone and the tenor. So now I have both ukuleles, the baritone here and the tenor here. And so first of all, just by looking at it, you'll notice that the baritone has a much bigger body and also a longer neck. Now, the sides of them, let's do it this way, the sides are not too bad. They're almost the same width. As a matter of fact, this tenor is a little bit wider in parts than the baritone. But notice if we line up the bridges here, right? If we take, take the bridges here and line them up, notice that the baritone, see the bottom is still, still longer. Notice the baritone is this one right here. But then as we move down here, notice that the body here at the top is longer. Again, this is the baritone. And as we move it down, try to keep them straight, notice you have a longer neck. And notice where the, the nuts meet here, right? The nuts don't meet here, but they're actually right there. And so you got a much longer neck. So you have a much bigger body here with the baritone and also a much longer neck. And so what does that do? Well, it's gonna produce a lower sound because as the bodies of instruments get bigger, you're gonna produce a lower timbre, okay? 
And then also, because this is tuned lower than the, the tenor, or vice versa, the tenor is tuned higher than the baritone, you're also going to get a much lower sound as well. And then also, because I was using a high G on this tenor, that the baritone is still going to sound even lower because on this baritone I have the, the low D here, which I think most, ten, most baritones have that fourth string as a low string. So anyway, the biggest difference again between the baritone and the tenor ukulele or the concert and the soprano is the tuning, that the baritone is tuned lower than the tenor or the tenor is tuned higher than the baritone, and the body size and the neck length. Okay, so anyway, hope that clears it up and uh, that's gonna do it for this one.